Blessed be everyone. I just wanted to come to you today and show you a haul that I got um, from Enchantments. That is a, an occult store in the city in Manhattan. So I went there and I took a trip um, with a friend of mine. And mostly what I have here is candles, but usually I don't do videos when I go buy candles every, because everyone knows what the candle is. But I went with a friend of mine and she actually got her candle carved. So I wanted to share the method of the carving with you. So what I got here are two seven day candles. And I believe there are seven day candles because if you light them and you keep them burning, without snuffing them out, they can last for seven days straight. Now, if you're going to do that, it is recommended that you place the candle within a bowl of water. Um, so, the method, basically, that I saw the carver use for my friend's candle was, obviously, you carve the candle with whatever intention you have, and then you oil the candle with an oil specific to your purpose, now, one of the interesting things I saw him do is put some herbs in the bottom of the glass. Usually, I put the herbs in the candle. Um, you can do that if you want, but also you put the herbs in the bottom of the glass. And the reason why he did that was to help charge the glass, so that the glass is also magically charged. And then after that, some glitter was rubbed along the carvings on the candle. Now, this made the candle very pretty one which is awesome when you think about shifting your awareness and shifting your consciousness. When you see it and you have that emotional reaction, it will aid in doing that. And also, it helped the carving stand out so that you, when you see the candle and you're meditating with it, you can focus on what it says. So I plan to carve these candles in that way. Um, maybe when they're done, I can come back and just show you quickly what it looks like. And also this yellow one is another seven day. Um, I just have to go pick up some glitter. And also what I got from there, candle-wise, it's this, uh, a green candle, these were a dollar each, a red, a pink, a pink, and another green candle. Um, so and, uh, the seven days were six dollars and these were a dollar each. Now, um, the reason I got these is because they're also for spur work that you're also going to do for a couple of days. If you want it, you can uh, carve notches in this candle and make it a seven day candle. Uh, that's of course if you're going to snuff it out um, after you're done meditating. You'll meditate until it reaches a notch and then you'll snuff it out. Focus, meditate until it reaches a notch and then you'll snuff it out. Or you can make it a four day candle, whatever. They're thick enough so that um, you can use them for several days. Uh, if you burn it, like I've burned these at night and then woke up the next day, they're still burning. If you burn it in the morning, it'll probably be done by mid late afternoon. So, you know, they, they'll burn for quite a while and they have enough room on it so that you can do lots of carving. So, um, I picked up some of these. These candles are awesome. And I also picked up some of these because I plan to make a patty tail which is the Egyptian word for basically mojo bag or, you know, charm bag. Um, so usually these are like three, four dollars. These were on sale for $1.49, so I had to pick them up. I got a red one and a blue one. And I also got other necessities like charcoal. Um, I would recommend buying this online because this was uh, almost four dollars for this bag. But you know, it's in the city, so you gotta pay help them pay the city rent. Um, and this, which is already opened, and I've already used it to help clean out my home. This is a switch stick. This one was uh, fifteen dollars. I think it was fifteen ninety nine. Um, if you want, you can get it for ten dollars at Whole Foods. But this is a smudge stick, and. Um, this one is actually for healing, so it's for healing and it's for cleansing because it has sage, copal, and cedar in it. Um, so this is, uh, I use some of it and actually it's very relaxing. Um, and I also picked up these, which you can see I also used one. I took a trip to the store like two or three weeks ago, so, you know, I've had plenty of time to use this stuff. Um, this is a, these sticks are for relighting candles and I found these very helpful. They're 10 cents each so you can't go wrong with them and I've also had a problem relighting my candle 
my large candles once they reach a certain point if they're encased in a glass or if it's a um a, a, a pillar candle excuse me um, or if it's a pillar candle um and it's burned quite far down into the wax so you can light the sticks and use it to relight the candles and um so what I've been doing basically is for the last couple of days since I haven't carved them yet is letting the candles sit out in the sunlight. If you have sunlight, if you have moonlight, and you have these items, um, particularly these candles because they're encased in glass and the glass will attract the heat from the sun or attract the rays from the moon, um, I let them sit out and the sunlight and moonlight to kind of charge up and to cleanse them. So that way they get the energy of um, Mother Nature along with the energy of myself that I will put inside of the candle. Also, um, whenever you're buying items from a place, you always want to take them home and you want to cleanse them. Um, because uh, even if person has good intentions, you're not sure what kind of energy that um, person may carry. So that's another reason I got my sage stick. So um, I had them charging yesterday. If the sun comes out today, I will definitely charge them in the sun today. And then I will cleanse them, the glass, and the candles with my sage stick before carving them. And you just want to do that with every item that you have um, before using it, uh, before you put your energy into it. Just to make sure that you're starting with a fresh and clean slate. I've also been charging in the sunlight this and, and the element of air by my window. This box that I found. Now this was actually um, something that someone left. Uh, at work because they didn't want it anymore and um, I spotted it and I said if that's still there by the end of the day if no one else takes it then it's for me I'm going to take it so it was and I picked it up this is actually a basket it says Chelsea's market baskets and Chelsea is just a neighborhood in Manhattan um, so I found it and I said you know what I could put something some of my tools in there it's a pretty cool basket and it's all natural materials all wood and it has this little plastic here now um, I'm thinking of using this for my tarot cards but I want to paint it and um, you know and carve it up paint it and and then um, decide what I'm going to use it for so right now I've just been cleansing it um, so for now I think I'll use it for my tarot cards maybe put tarot cards and a few candles and, and uh, um, a sheet to do my tarot on so you know and have that under my altar or have it be able to take it with me whenever um, friends ask me to do tarot readings for them so those are all my neat finds I do want to come back to you guys um, later with another video uh, showing you some updates that I made to my altar and um, also talking to you about a new element that I've added to my spirituality. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video and until next time, love you all. Peace and blessings.